Hi, gang. Rob here. It is the evening of 4 April 2024. Nine o'clock on a Thursday night. Must be time for a knife sale on the Apostle P channel, and it is. And we have a monster for you today. 40 knives in one watch. Before I get into the thick of it, let's go over a little bit of housekeeping as usual. First off, I need you to be familiar with and agreeable to the terms of the sale. I'm going to post them on the screen for you in just a moment. I will also print them in the description underneath this video. Very important if you are new to this weekly sales event to be familiar with those. <clears throat> and for you veterans too, you might want to give them a look every once in a while. Sometimes they change a little. Also in the description underneath this video, above the terms of the sale, right at the top, you're going to see three links to previous videos on this channel. The first one is entitled A Primer for Buyers. That's a 38 minute expanded explanation of the terms of the sale, essentially. It explains how everything works and knowing how that works will make your purchase experience go much more smoothly, I promise. Second video is going to be pertinent to you if you are looking to use this weekly sales event to move along some of your own collection. Probably 99% of the knives here are on consignment, <clears throat> so that's kind of what we do. So that video will explain how this all works from the consigner's perspective. It's called FAQs for Consigners. And the third video, as always, is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. So in that all-important video description, you're going to see those three links at the top, then the terms of the sale, and then at the bottom, the list of tonight's inventory, complete with timestamps on the left, pricing on the right. Now in that pricing column, you're generally going to see two numbers. The number to the left of the slash is the price of your knife as shown in the video, the price on the right as sharpened by the Apostle P Knife Service. There will be room for four knives to be sharpened next day. So the first knives purchased in this sale tonight to be sharpened will ship tomorrow, Friday the 5th, with all of the as shown inventory. If you want your knife sharpened and it falls outside that first four, expect it to ship in two to three weeks. Backlog is low. So if you're just interested in some sharpening work for any knives you own, this would be the time to send them. If you see the word sold in lieu of pricing in that far right column, that means the knife that you're looking at has been bought and paid for by its new owner. No need to send an inquiry on anything marked sold, all caps, exclamation point. I think that's about it for the housekeeping. Let's get the terms up on the screen for you, and then we'll be right back, right back with the sale. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? We have miles to go before we sleep. Now, first up, just two leftovers from last week. And frankly, I'm shocked by both of them. Here's the first one. This is the Benchmade 3551 Pardue Automatic. Mm -hmm. 154 CM blade black hard anodized aluminium handle about three inches of blade and that top edge is false that is just a swedge on the spear point blade got your parkerized emerson style clip a little over a four inch handle it is a button lock automatic with spine mounted safety kind of mushy as most bench maids are rock solid lock up on this one Beautiful centering, action, just fine. I'm going to call this knife very near near mint. No box. These are long discontinued. When Blade HQ last had these, they cleared them out at 160, and that was some years ago. We ran this one last week at 145, got no takers. Dropped it to 125 for the weekend, it's still here. This is probably the buy of the sale. $115 this week, guys, for a piece of Benchmade history and a very usable yet tactical automatic. 3551 Stimulus from Benchmade. Next up, another discontinued icon from Benchmade. It's the 
707 sequel. <clears throat> so a McHenry Williams access lock design, of course. So this pattern was originally released as the 705 with the all G10 handle. The sequel then came out with the aluminum handle and black G10 inlays. It is wearing a Parkerized split arrow clip. Handle length is 3 and 13 sixteenths. The blade in 154 cm is 2 and 7 eighths inches in length. It is a first production run number 423 of 1000. I think you might be able to see that. Combo edge blade in nearly pristine condition. A little bit of edge wear. A little bit of handle wear at the very back. Lockup is rock solid. A little bit sticky, but eminently flickable. Blade centering on this one. I'm calling it close. We'll say the condition is excellent to near mint just because of the handle wear back here. Discontinued, not a stock. Sold listings on eBay for these range in between 181 and 253. We ran it last week at 160, dropped it to 145 for the weekend this week. 130 like it is, 155 sharpened on the sequel from Benchmade. Next up, <clears throat> our last leftover from last week is from ProTech. The model inside, the 3437 Newport, the 3D wave milled black handle, mother of pearl button, and a black blade. What a little beauty. I think you guys are sleeping on these Newports. <clears throat> Great little EDC auto knives. Side firing, button lock automatic. S35V and blade looks to be, I'm guessing Cerakote. I'm not sure what Protec used on these. Three inch blade, four and a sixteenth handle. Right hand tip up deep carry clip. Rock solid lock up. Action seems very free. The centering is dead. Yeah. We're calling it near mint in box. You could probably call it like new if you wanted. These are available currently brand new for web retail of 250. We ran this last week for 195, then dropped it to 170 for the weekend this week. 155 like it is. 180 with an Apostle P edge next day sharpening is available. The 3437 Newport from ProTech. All right, on to the fresh stuff for this week. Another one from ProTech. This one is the R5201 Runt 5. Kind of the basic configuration. Black handle, stone wash blade. So I think this is a California legal auto. There is your black hard anodized aluminum handle. Right hand tip up deep carry clip. Side folding button lock auto. Look at that smack. For a, for a light blade, it really fires hard. There's your 20 CV designation. What a usable little knife. I mean, what do you need for opening boxes at the post office? More than that. <laughs> Let's see. Lock up rock solid. Action you saw is awesome. Centering, dead. <clears throat> Near mint inbox, we'll call it. These are available new for 150 web retail. Let's go 120 on this one. 145 with an Apostle P edge. The Runt 5 from ProTech. Next up, we have one from the ProTech Custom Shop here. This is a beauty. This is the 5241 Blue Malibu. So the handle is Titanium Custom. A very cool milling pattern. 3D Titanium, Stonewash 20 CV Blade, Reverse Tonto, and a Mother of Pearl Button. These things are evidently pretty hot. And you can see why. <laughs> Look at that button and that beautiful milling. And then you get some pretty interesting colors flowing through that blue anno with that mill pattern. Other than that, standard Malibu. Button lock manual ball bearing flipper. Blade is 3 and 5 sixteenths. The handle is 4 and 3 sixteenths. So very efficient blade to handle ratio. 
Lockup is rock solid. Ball bearing action is hydraulically smooth. Flips great. There's your polished right hand tip up deep carry clip. Centering on this one. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So here's the bad news. <laughs> like new in box, by the way. These are out of stock <clears throat> at most retailers. Uh, I think PVK recently sold one of these at 500. I think the web retail or map price was 450 on them. But PVK had a, a couple in stock that they sold for more than that. This one, however, 395 like it is. 425 with an Apostle P. Edge. That's the 5241 Blue Malibu with the 3D milled blue frame and Mother of Pearl button. Mm, mm, mm. Next up, <clears throat> it's Microtech time, boys. Here's the first one. <clears throat> it is a UTX 85 Tanto Edge, model 233-1T. The finish is tactical standard, so that'll be black handle stone wash blade or something like that. So there is your black hard anodized aluminum handle. So although this looks like tip down, it's not. <clears throat> of course, the, the tip is down here. Mm -hmm. But you can reverse these clips if you like. Let's see. Serial number on this one is 68863, born 7 of 21. I'm going to call the button effort medium to medium firm on this one. Well, the tactical standard does not mean stone wash in this blade, obviously. It's two-tone, black and satin, gorgeous Tonto blade. I mean gorgeous. Blade length is 3 and a 16th. <clears throat> it is like new in the box. 100% reliable, by the way. These are currently available for 276 web retail. We're going to offer this one at 225 like it is, 260 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening is available if you so desire. <clears throat> the Microtech 233-1T UTX 85 Tanto Edge. Wow. Next up. Another Microtech. This, the 231-13. It's a UTX 85 single edge, bronzed standard. Yeah, so this is not bronze apocalyptic. This is doesn't have the acid stone wash phase of that. So I think it's a little better looking. You got your black hard anodized aluminum handle. <clears throat> bronze anodized hardware everywhere. That clip will say. Serial number is 71953, the born date 9 of 21. There is your single-edged spear point blade. Nice little fuller, a swedge. You got satin flats and stonewashed bevels. Blade length is 3 and 8. This one is in M390. Medium to medium firm button. 100% reliable. Condition is like new in the box. Now this configuration is out of stock currently. When they were available, they had a web retail of $299. <clears throat> we're going to offer this one at $235 like it is. $265 if you'd like it with my edge. Next day sharpening is available. That's the UTX 85 bronzed from Microtech. Next up, one more Microtech for now. This is the model 240-10AP, Trudon Mini Tanto Edge in the Apocalyptic Standard Finish. <clears throat> so you have a black hard anodized aluminum handle. You have the standard Microtech clip. Serial number 2530, born 9 of 21. Out that handle flies, this little baby. The blade 
is M391 and 15 16 inches in length. Cool little apocalyptic standard acid wash finish down here. And then bright satin flats. <clears throat> apocalyptic hardware too. So 1 and 15 16 inches of blade, 3 and 3 16 inches of handle. Just about a medium effort button. 100% reliable. We'll call this one near mental like new in box. These are out of stock. Web retail seemed to range between 286 and 300 for these when they were in stock. We're going to do this one at 230 like it is, 260 with an Apostle P edge. That is the Trudon Mini Tanto Edge from Microtech. Next up, we have a little fixed blade from Benchmade. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think this is part of the Greg Thompson design, but I'm not sure about that. They seem to be. It is the 175BK. That's the model number. And then the model name is the CBK Push Dagger. Comes in a molded polymer sheath with a screw attached steel clip. Nice. You can neck carry this or you can clip carry it. <clears throat> so it's a flat ground double edged dagger. So I guess you'd say that's a chisel double flat. The back side of the knife is flat. You just deburr on this side. Then you got your ring handle. Fits pretty nicely. 440C is the blade steel. Black Cerakote is the finish. Got a little wear spot right there. <clears throat> 2 and 7 eighths blade, 2 and 11 sixteenths handle. They're discontinued and out of stock when they were available new. They were 99 bucks map. Um, let's do 65 bucks on this. No box, by the way. You do have to be careful how you put it in the sheath. The beveled side goes up. Mm -hmm. Whoa, no need to sharpen on that, by the way. Next up, speaking of the Greg Thompson family of Benchmade fixed blades, next we have the 176BK SOCP dagger. Comes in a very specifically made polymer sheath with almost an infidel kind of clip. Here's the knife. Also a ringtail dagger. Interesting how these are sharpened only from there forward because all it does is pierce. It's not a cutter per se. <clears throat> so you also have a 40, 440C blade on this one. Three and a quarter inches of blade to about there. And then from there back you have a handle that's four inches long. We're going to call this one near mint no box doesn't appear to really have ever been used i don't see any blood on it <laughs> these are available currently brand new at your favorite internet knife dealer for 117. this one how about we do 75 bucks shipped priority mail no need to sharpen no need to sharpen that's the socp dagger model 176 bk from benchmade Next up, another fixed blade from Benchmade. Check this one out, guys. I know I've never seen one, and this is super cool. This is the 10536 Snowdy Instigator from Benchmade. So you get a very nice molded polymer sheath. Looks like we could attach a tech lock if we wanted to, but I think I would neck carry this thing. <clears throat> Interesting method of blade retention. You have a dimple in the sheath that sits in one of these beautifully chamfered holes so you actually get a decent little pop the blade is made in taiwan so who knows when these were made os8 steel three and a half inches in length gorgeous worn cliff by the way and for a skeleton handle really really fits the hand well <clears throat> so three and a half blade four inch handle brightly chamfered holes Nice finger choil, perfect sharpening choil, very nicely done. These are discontinued and out of stock. 
I found one sold recently on Arizona Custom Knives for 95 One sold on eBay for 85 on this one, and I'm going to call this Near Mint No Box, as was the one on eBay, by the way. Let's do 75 bucks shipped priority mail, and 100 if you'd like my edge on it. That is the Snowdy Instigator from Benchmade. Next up, man, here's a sweetie I used to own, one of, in a discontinued Benchmade. It is the 484 Nakamura. Mm-hmm. The black G10 scales sort of to emulate bamboo, I guess. <clears throat> but they work very well texturally. Polished split arrow clip, axis lock mechanism. Bright pivot collars around the black screw. Comes out of the handle just fine. There's that beautiful blade. Almost has a Spyderco profile, doesn't it, with the hump. M390 is the blade steel. Blade length is 3 and an eighth. The handle is 3 and 15 sixteenths, so super efficient blade to handle ratio. The finger groove handle works beautifully for my large size glove hand. I mean, it just locks. Great. And that gorgeous swedge on that spear point blade. Lock up is rock solid. Blade drops super freely. Yeah. How's the centering? Shall we look? I don't know, guys. Would would perfect be okay? Let's see what I say. Yeah, I said perfect. So let's see. These are discontinued out of stock, and they've gone through the roof on the secondary market. Sold listings on eBay ranging between 185 and the knife that was 185 was kind of a turd, all the way up to 399. And there are a pretty good population of sold listings on eBay. This one, no box, but very near mint. 160, like it is. 190 with an Apostle P. Edge, the 484 Nakamura from Benchmade. Next up, this is the least expensive knife in the sale. It is a 530 SBK Pardue. So you get your sort of modified coffin handle and FRN with some very nice texturing. You get a painted split arrow clip ambidextrous tip up, and it's a little worse for the wear. You've got an access lock mechanism, and it's kind of mechanically different because when you close the blade, it, oh shoot, it swings to about there and then it kind of hits a bit of a stop and then you release the lock and it goes in. That's how they were made. They're making the most out of a little bit of space up in this area, I think. Blade centering looks pretty good. <clears throat> the blade is a combo edge, coated black. Blade length is three and a quarter. The handle is four and three sixteenths. A little bit of wear in the coating from use, but very minimal. <clears throat> Edge wear, yeah, there is some. But the action's great. The centering's great. The lockup is rock solid. We're going to call it excellent no box. Uh, they discontinued these a couple years ago and cleared them out at 99 bucks web retail. Let's go $60 on this one. 85 with an Apostle P. Edge. The 530 SBK Pardue from Benchmade. Next up. <laughs> there is some rarefied air there, boys. This is the Benchmade 875 Elishowitz Sentinel. Uh-huh. And when you look at that clip, I think that puts it in the late 90s. That's a Parkerized Emerson clip with the stamped Benchmade USA. <clears throat> We've got, I'm going to call it a titanium liner lock. The blue anodized bits, the main structure of the knife, are blue anodized titanium. Over the top, some black hard anodized aluminum panels. The clip, sadly, <laughs> right hand tip down. Big thumb studs that are removable, looks like with a spanner tool instead of a Torx. A pretty weak detent, but great action. But because the stud is in a, the proper location, 
the weak detent does not inhibit your flicking. <clears throat> so the blade is ATS-34. Had to dig for some history to find that. 3 and 13 16 inches in length. It's kind of like a long Purdue blade, but it's a Lishowitz design. There's the lock engagement. It's pretty deep. It doesn't have any stick or any slip. And the blade centering, how about that? Yeah. Condition on this one? Near mint. No box. Doggone it. These are discontinued, out of stock. Sold listings on eBay range between 200 and 320 I guarantee you there's some Benchmade collectors who are going to be happy about this price. 140 shipped priority mail, 165 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available. The 875 Sentinel from Benchmade. <clears throat> Next up, here's an old pair of blue jeans, huh? Black handled full size grip tillion, Norrell GTX. <laughs> Painted Benchmade Emerson clip. Beautiful action. And that sound that only a plastic handled grip tillion can make. You either love it or you hate it. Okay, what we got here is a 154 CM blade, combo edge, tanto edge. 3 and 3 eighths blade, 4 and 5 eighths handle, access lock, phosphor bronze washers, and thumb studs. Rock solid lockup, free dropping blade. I think that centering looks about perfect. Uh -huh. We will say excellent to near mint, no box. <clears throat> I don't know. Why did I say excellent to near mint? I don't know. I think I'm just going to call it near mint. What do we got there? I think somebody painted in this knife anyway. Uh, these are discontinued and out of stock when they were last available. The map price web retail was $123. let us go $85 bucks on this one. $115 with an Apostle Piage. The Tanto Grip from Benchmade. Next up, I've got a knife from Benchmade I've never seen one of. I don't really understand the model number. It is a U.S. made, Osborne designed Benchmade. <clears throat> the model number is 12800SBK. It is the Osborne Gaucho. Don't know when they made these. Let's look. Hard to tell because the blade steel is what? CPM M4, limited edition number 57 of 300. It's got a recurve Tonto combo edge blade. I bet those serrations just rip in M4. A little bit of coating wear, a lot of handle wear. So that's a 3D machine set of aluminum scales that were hard anodized gray. And this knife has been carried a bit. It's got a painted split arrow clip, which I find interesting. Uh -huh. Blade length on the Gaucho, three and a half. Handle length, four and a half. Rock solid lockup. Not quite a free dropping blade, but nice. The centering is kind of dead down the middle. <clears throat> I'm going to call the condition very good, no box. Got some significant wear on the handle. They're discontinued, out of stock, and unobtainium, but it's got to be worth 100 bucks. <clears throat> Possibly the most obscure of all Osborne design benchmates. 130 if you'd like it with my edge on it. That is the 12800 SBK Gaucho. Next up, we have another one of the Pardue design benchmates. This is the 350 SBK. I think we had a similar knife to this last week. From the 1990s by that stamped Parkerized clip, we got a three inch blade in ATS 34 combo edge. Now this one has a little more use on it than the one we had last week. Okay. 
three inch blade, four and an eighth handle, stainless steel liner lock mechanism, which is solid and beautiful. And the centering is as well. But you got a right hand tip down clip and a piece of bench made history. Uh, discontinued, not a stock. As I reported last week, Blade HQ had an, a listing still up that was a sold knife. One of these that they sold for 135. This one we're going to call excellent, excellent no box. Your price 75 bucks, like it is 100 with an Apostle Piage. That is the 350 SBK Pardue from Benchmade. Be specific in your I'll take it because I have a very similar knife coming back. Speaking of that very similar knife, next up, this is a Benchmade 350S Pardue pre-production model. So this will have a combo edge blade, I think. Yes, but not black coated. ATS 34. There you go. If you can read that. Pre-production 1998. Not a prototype, but a not a first production run, a pre-production. You've got that Parkerized stamped Benchmade USA clip. A very cool thumb stud. Didn't want that to go unnoticed. Three inches of blade, four and an eighth handle, stainless steel liner lock mechanism. Rock solid lockup, nice free blade. Centering favors the lock side on this one. <clears throat> However, I'm going to say this is very near mint, no box. Discontinued, out of stock, and unobtainium. Let's do 110 on this one. 135 with an Apostle P edge. I would probably suggest you don't touch the edge on this one, but might be worth something someday. The 350S Party pre-production for Benchmade. Next up, ooh, here's a knife I've never seen one of. There's a lot of that going on the last couple weeks. This is a Benchmade Mini Striker, a very early model because there's no model number anywhere on the blade. Look at that G10. It still has the Emerson shimmer, right? Back in these days, I'm sure Emerson and Benchmade got their G10 from the same place. Right-hand tip-down clip. Tonto blade. <clears throat> ATS 34 is the blade steel. The clip is going to be right-hand tip-down. Look at that big, bold Elishowitz maker's mark. Phosphor Browns washers and a thumb disc opener on the Tonto blade. Two and 15 sixteenths inches of blade, four and a quarter handle. Ooh, that really feels good forward. Feels good back here. What a cool knife. I'm going to call it near mint, no box. Rock solid lockup. You saw the action. It's beautiful. And the centering is dead. Near mint, no box, discontinued, out of stock, and unobtainium. Got to be worth 110 bucks. That's your price. 110 like it is, 140 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available. That's the Benchmade Mini Striker Early Liner Lock. Next up, we have a knife I have never seen one of. I think I said the Gaucho might be the rarest Osborne. This has got to be the rarest Osborne. Check this out. <clears throat> Would you look at the newness of the black G10? Look at what's going on back here. I have a file worked backspacer and a torsion bar spring assist. Check it out, guys. That thing flies open. So here's what we got. Osborne design, D2 blade in a black oxide finish which I've never seen before on any bench made. It's very cool. There's some striations in it. Mm -hmm. Blade is three and a quarter. The handle is four and seven sixteenths. It is a stainless steel liner lock, a heavy liner lock. What a beast. Rock solid lock up. Very free blade until you get to the spring. The centering is dead. That's a fun knife. Uh, 
no cl no clip present, but it would be right hand tip down if it had one. Any Benchmade clip will go. How cool is that? <clears throat> Near mint no box discontinued out of stock and unobtainium. I have no idea, but it's got to be worth 135 bucks. If you want me to throw a clip on it, I will. I should have a bunch, so just let me know what kind. I'll try to help you out. 135 like it is, 160 with an Apostle Piedge on the 672 Osborne Apparition from Benchmade. Next up, I have to turn the page. <clears throat> oh, nobody's going to want this. Ah! It's a baggie <clears throat> from my buddy Jay Rao and the boys at Knives Ship Free and Northwoods Knives. I got a sticker. I got a coin. I got a baggie. I got a slip. And inside I got a Heritage Jack <clears throat> in Mammoth Avery. Oh, oh, oh. Not cross cut, not glued together scraps, beautiful, contiguous, gorgeous mammoth ivory. All steel construction, liners and bolsters. I think shield too. The shield might be nickel silver. I don't know. The blade has a long pull. It is the classic Northwoods heat treat scaled flats, satin bevel and swedge. Three and seven eighths inches of closed length, 1095 steel. Beautiful walk and talk, about a seven and a half pull. I'm calling the centering very close. I think it favors the top as you're looking at it very slightly. Condition is near mint to like new in baggy with slip and coin. Your price, <clears throat> $4.95 like it is. 515 with an Apostle P. Edge. The Northwoods Heritage Jack in Mammoth. <clears throat> Next up, it's watch time, boys. This one's pretty cool, I got to say. It's a Seiko. And the model on that worn sticker should say the SNJ027. It is the Patty Arnie, right? It is an Anadigi watch. A quartz analog with a LCD display at the top. It is the H851 Solar in a Digi Quartz. This is the Professional Diving Instructors Association version of the Arni, right? So you get your polymer shroud, stainless steel case, screw down pushers and crown, 200 meters of water resistance. 46 millimeter diameter, 51 lug to lug, 15 thick, 22 millimeter lug width. I do not have the factory strap, but I got a pretty nice silicone. I think this is a 20 millimeter strap. Because <clears throat> mm -hmm. it's a little loose. But both of the NATOs you're going to get are 22. A black one and a red one. <clears throat> Uh, condition is near mint in box. Web retail, sort of, you know, like gray market retail for these runs between $394 and $420, brand new. I don't think there's a mark in this watch, by the way. I did wear it for a couple days. Um, yeah, let's do 250 bucks for the SNJ027 Patty Arnie. How's that? That'll work, won't it? Yeah. So next up, an interesting knife. We're back to knives for the rest of the evening, by the way. This one's from Tops. I know that because the attached whistle says Tops Knives. I have not blown that. Let's see. Oh, ah, nasty. Ooh, that'll get somebody's attention. Uh -huh. This is the Delta Unit 3. Comes in the Kydex fold-over sheath with the famous swivel steel clip. Wow, that's got some retention. Look at that little cutie. 1095 steel with a crinkle coat like a dark gray epoxy on this one. Uh -huh. Three inches of 1095, thick, like 
thick. I'm going to say more than 3 16 and less than a quarter. Mm -hmm. Black and blue G10. Red liners, I think. Man, that really locks into the hand. Um, let's see. Near mint, no box. 110 is the web retail for these. Let's do 85 bucks like it is. 110 with an Apostle Piège on the top's Delta Unit 3. That really locks in the sheet. All right, next up, back to the folders, boys. We have one from Zero Tolerance, ZT. Experience it. And we kind of have the top of the food chain on 562s. This is the 562 Ti Hinderer. All titanium handle. There is your show side scale. There is your business side scale. This is designed by Rick Hinder, modeled off his XM18 slicer, sort of. Mm -hmm. Titanium frame lock, steel insert, Hinder lock bar stabilizer, ambidextrous tip up deep carry clip, ball bearing flipper. Let's see, I'm going to put my fingers on the lock bar and it flips with no death lock. Yay! Blade is 20 CV. Three and a half inches in length. The handle four and seven eighths. There's your lock engagement. It's perfect. Lock up is dead rock solid. Ball bearing action is beautiful. The centering on this one, what am I going to say? Perfect. Near mint to like new in box. A superb example. These are still available, still making them. Your web retail or map price from ZT is $312. That's what you'll pay at your favorite retailer. This one, how about we just do $225, like it is. $255, if you'd like it, with an Apostle PH, the ZT0562TI. Next up. Oh, oh, this is kind of a story. <clears throat> if you had to think of the two American production knife company owners that get the most heat, that cause the most controversy, who would they be? Well, they would be Greg Medford and Mick Strider. Uh-huh. We have a Strider in a Medford box because they're made by Medford. Okay, that that's just got its own kind of cool, I think. <laughs> Here's the knife. It's the Strider 0.75 AR. I'm sure there's a reason for that designation. So you got bronze anodized, tumbled titanium scales. And I don't know if that's a wear mark or if it's part of the tumble, but it's there. Just so you know, you could probably rub on it and make it blend in. I don't know. I think that was a stone, but anywho. You've got a Strider clip. You got a lock bar stabilizer, which is interesting. You got an oval hole to open. It opens like a Medford, just saying. It's got a strider pivot, and it's got a blade, three and a quarter inches of pretty thick S45VN. The handle is four and 13 sixteenths. How are the ergonomics? Well, they're very strider esque, of course. Mm -hmm. Lockup is dead rock solid and in a pretty good spot. How about that, guys? Is that thing on bearings? I don't know. Do your research. But it's pretty free. Wow. Detent. I'd have to get good at that. <clears throat> Anywho. Um, oh, the centering's perfect, by the way. I'm going to call it near mint in box. These are out of stock. They got to be hot. They were $5.95 web retail new. <clears throat> this one, $4.25 near mint in box, $4.55 with an Apostle PH. The .75 AR from Strider Medford in parentheses. Next up, speaking of Spider or Strider collaborations, we have one from ProTech. And this is a little sweetie. It's the PT201 Strider PT Auto. 
in Magna Cut from ProTech. How cool. I mean, how cool. What a great little EDC automatic. Black hard anodized aluminum frame or handle. Right hand, doggone it, guys. I'd, I'd own this knife if they had a lefty clip mount. Deep carry, tip up. Side folding button lock auto. Magna cut blade. Blade length is three and a sixteenth. The handle is three and fifteen sixteenths. So it's a strider handle, a strider design with efficient blade to handle ratio. How can this be? It is. And look at the centering. Dead. Lock up. Solid. There are some very slight trails in this hard anodized coating. Let's see if I can get them to reflect. But obviously, they don't present, right? So, let's see. We're going to call it near mint in box. These are out of stock. When they were available, they had a web retail of $245. This one can be yours. One nine five like it is two twenty five with an like it is two twenty five with an apostle P edge. That's the Protec Strider PT two hundred one Auto PT. Next up, more auto knife hysteria. Uh huh. One from Heretic Knives, made in the USA. I'm not going to read you that model number, but it is the Colossus single edge from Heretic. Why is it called that? Because it's freaking big. That's why. Five inches a handle. Glass breaker at the end. Looks like you could reverse that clip. It's eminently reversible. Same pattern on both sides. Spine mounted button. Double action OTF auto. Comes out with authority. I'm going to call that button firm. The blade is... is 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 three and a half inches of cpm magna cut uh -huh. two-tone finished kind of a little clip point mm -hmm. or a reverse tonto i don't know 100 percent reliable serial number is 00267 the clip has a little wear but very little so we're going to call it near mint in box <clears throat> manufactured. I don't know when let's see web retail for these and they are still in stock is 471. Let's do 350 on this one, 380 with an apostle P edge, the Colossus OTF automatic from heretic. Next up back to Microtech. It's the 135 one T. LUDT tactical standard black handle. Let me go over the wear points. A tiny bit of wear right on the tip of that tri point screw. And I think that's about it. The blade is Bowler M390 in black. Uh huh. There is some slight side play depending on the temperature, as with a lot of LUDTs. <clears throat> it's pretty tight this morning. Very, very slight. Mm -hmm. The action, <laughs> perfect. The centering, I'm calling it very close. It's hard to see, but I think it favors the top as you're looking at it just a little bit. So let's see, near mint in box, web retail for these. 278 and let's do 200 bucks on this one like it is 230 with an apostle p edge the 135-1 l u d t from microtech next up this one's just yummy boys it's a microtech it is the model 142-1 c o d which is o d green cerakote mm-hmm it is a combat Truodon double edge, and I think the whole thing is Cerakote. That is not hard anodized aluminum. I think it's Cerakoted aluminum, as is all the hardware, right? Five and a quarter inches of authority right there, boys. Serial number 
39581, born August of 22. Comes out with authority. The blade steel is M390. Yes, Irby Bob. Blade length, by the way, three and three quarters. Button effort firm, 100% reliable. Condition is going to be near mint in box. These are out of stock. When they were available, the web retail was $551. Your price on this one, $375. No need to sharpen that double-edged blade. The 142-1 COD Combat Truid on double-edged in OD green. That brings us to the Rob's pick in tonight's sale, and this is pretty cool. All you Star Wars guys, this is probably a little specific to you. It is a Signature Series Microtech. It is the 122-1 SL Ultratech double-edged tri-grip. What does all that mean? Well, there is your tri-grip handle and black hard anodized aluminum. <clears throat> That's four and 11 sixteenths inches of handle. Standard nut glass plate breaker clip configuration. Uh-huh. I didn't write down the serial number, but it's 7944 and the born date is 10 of 22. Look at that. Look at the little bright work on the top of the button. Yeah. Here's what makes it cool though, except other than the tri-grip handle, there's that. <laughs> it's the red blade, yes. It is the Sith Lord, the Sith Lord Ultra Tech. Now these signature series knives, you'll never see the blade steel printed. They call it premium stainless steel. So it's whatever they were running at the time. Let's, let's see, 10 of 22 is probably M390, but I'm not sure. Button effort is medium firm, reliability 100%. Near mint in box will be your condition, very near mint. These are out of stock at 363 web retail. Your price on this one, 250, no need to sharpen. That's the Rob's pick tonight. The Sith Lord Ultratech from Microtech. Next up, I teased you about this knife yesterday, guys. I said that we had a hinderer that was neither a manual opening folder nor a fixed blade. Uh -huh. Well, this is what it is. It's an XM18 three and a half, spear point, automatic and working finish, and it's all titanium. <clears throat> Look at that thing of beauty. Yes, yes. It's going to be right hand tip up only. Let's see. How about that? How about that? Blade is a spear point in 20 CV. Yeah. Three and a half inch blade, four and three quarters handle, button lock automatic, solid lockup, perfect centering condition near mint to like new in box you can buy these brand new right now you go on the web find your favorite retailer buy one for 650 bucks or just buy this one 495 like it is 525 with an apostle piedge the xm18 spear point automatic from hinderer <clears throat> next up more hinderer <clears throat> this is a pretty cool knife it is a three and a half inch eclipse Scaled in OD Green G10 with the luscious hinderer mill pattern. So I'm going to call this all working finish, but you have obviously a bronze scale that's got that little acid tumble treatment going on. A 20 CV Warncliffe blade in an eclipse. Doesn't that look delicious? Yes, it does. No discernible edge wear, rock solid lockup. It is a triway knife, by the way. However, you're going to get bearings only because I have no box and no stuff. Centering is perfect. Flipping action is perfect. Lockup is perfect. 
condition near meant to like new, no box, no, no phosphor bronze, no Teflon, just the bearings installed. So these are out of stock at 425 Web Retail. Let's do 375 on this one like it is. 405 with an Apostle P edge. And let's face it, nobody puts the washers in the driveway knife, so you'll be just fine. That's the Eclipse Warncliffe from Hinderer. Next up, we have another Hinderer Eclipse with no box. I think this one is kind of special for a couple reasons. First of all, it has the frag pattern, <clears throat> flat dark earth scale. It is another uh, Hinderer Eclipse, three and a half. Bright stone wash, not working finish, frame and blade. And then you get the swedged spear, which is such a gorgeous blade. Oh, and by the way, it's in CPM Magna Cut. Yeah. Three and five eighths blade, four and three quarters handle, rock solid lock up. There's your engagement. It's a triway pivot knife, bearings installed, no box, no additional hardware. Perfect centering. Condition on this won't be near mental like new in box. These are out of stock at 425 Web Retail. Let's go 395 like it is 425 with my edge. The Hinder Eclipse Swedged Spear in Magna Cut. <clears throat> Next up, one of a couple save me from myself moments tonight. We got a bench made. It's the 9070 BK-1 Claymore with the OD Green. What are we calling this material? I forgot. Grivery. Ranger Green Grivery, they're calling it. Face toward enemy in Morse code. Button lock automatic with safety. It's on red, so that means if I push the button, it fires. And there are a few side folding autos on this planet that fly open like a Benchmade Claymore. Better hang on to it. Wow. So you got that dark gray to black, kind of speckly Cerakote finish in CPM D2. If you don't know about CPM D2, think CTS XHP. There's a long story about that, if you want to hear it someday. <clears throat> anyway, three and five eighths inches of blade, very thin, sub one eighth, beautiful swedged drop spear, ambidextrous tip up deep carry parkerized butterfly clip, rock solid lockup, Perfect centering, by the way, three and five eighths by five. I said close on the centering in my copy. Yeah, it, it does favor the bottom very slightly as you're looking at it. Anyhow, uh, near mint in box, web retail or map price for these online is gonna be 234 brand new. Let's do 185 on this one like it is 210 with my edge, the Claymore from Benchmade. Next up, if you're lamenting the discontinuation of the Benchmade Adamas because you don't have one, here you go. It's the 275 BKSN Adamas, my favorite configuration. <clears throat> black blade, black hardware, sand G10 scales and backspacer. Ambidextrous tip-up deep carry clip. If, I think that's painted. I think it is. D2 blade, three and three quarters inches in length. The thing about the Adamus is the size of the hardware. Huge stop pin, huge access bar, thick blade, rock solid lockup, free dropping blade. Centering on this one, I'm calling very close. Near mint, no box. Discontinued out of stock. Sold listings on eBay range in between 156 and 239. Let's do 150 on this one, 175 with an Apostle P edge. The Adamus from Benchmade. <clears throat> Next up, my other save me from myself moment is another Benchmade. This is the 580 2 Barrage in gray G10. So they made the barrage with basically three handle configurations. 
aluminum bolster G10 scale, then an all FRN handle version, and then the G10 in gray. Pretty cool knife. So it's a, an axis assist, axis lock with spring assist, spine mounted safety. Great spring assist mechanism. S30V blade on this one, a gorgeous swedged spear point, three and five eighths blade, four and three quarters handle, rock solid lockup, strong spring, perfect centering, and that's spring tension all the way to the stop pin, which isn't true on a lot of spring assisted knives. <clears throat> These just open with authority. Tip up ambidextrous parkerized split arrow. Condition is going to be near mint. No box. Discontinued, not a stock. The last web retail price I could find was at Blade HQ. They sold these for $196. Let's do $165 on this one, $190 with an Apostle P. Edge. This is a knife that you might buy unemotionally just because you think you might use it, and then you're going to be so happy that you did. There's nothing super sexy about it. It just works. I love these knives. My buddy Peter owns one, and it's his favorite knife. The 580-2 Barrage from Benchmade. Next up from Spyderco, a bit of an eclectic Spidey. It's the C218GP Opus. The Opus, designed by Uli Haneke. I don't know, I see some, like Al Mar, what was that? Was it the Shrike? I see a lot of Shrike in the handle here. So stainless steel liner lock construction, G10 scaled, ambidextrous four-way clip, painted Spyderco standard clip. Very cool blade. It's like an elongated para 2 blade, kind of a spidey clip. The blade steel is S30V. The blade is three and three quarters, not a small knife. Five and an eighth handle. Stainless steel liner lock made in Seki City. A liner lock made in Seki City. Beautiful looking lock up there, by the way, and rock solid. Phosphor bronze washers and a hole. Centering is perfect. Lock up is perfect. <clears throat> I'm going to say there's a little wear in the G10 and a little wear on the clip. And we'll call it excellent to near mint in box. These are out of stock when they were last available. They were 218 web retail. Let's do 145 on this one. 170 sharpened on the Spyderco Opus. Next up, another eclectic Spidey. Uh -huh. This is the Dallara 3. I think this is a Sal Glesser design knife. It is. So black G10, very little wear. Ambidextrous tip-up deep carry wire clip. Caged ball I'm sorry, ball bearing at lock, not the caged ball like the Manix, just the bare ceramic ball bearing. Kind of a modified sheep's foot blade in S30V. The blade length is three and three eighths. The handle is four and three quarters. I think I can actually shut this one. Yes. You pull that ball back and you have to get a grip on it. So if you have Lotion on your hands probably not going to work. <laughs> Lockup is dead rock solid. Action's beautiful. Centering is, what did I say? Very close. I'm saying it favors the top as you're looking at it. Rock solid lockup, man. <clears throat> so near mint, in box, discontinued and out of stock. The last web retail listing I could find was 180. Let's do 135 on this one, 160 with an Apostle Piage, the Dallara 3 from Spyderco. Next up, we have one from Emerson, and it's a very cool Emerson, by the way. Yes. This is the Emerson Appalachian, and it's wearing a We the People etched stonewash clip. The original clip will come. No box, though. Check it out. The wave and the disc to open. How's that for a gorgeous clip point blade? Huh? Yes. It's three and five eighths inches and 154 cm. 
so two-sided bevel grind flat saber and then a chisel ground edge titanium liner lock it locks up deep but it's super secure and the centering is what a perfect center perfectly centered emerson that'll work that dog will hunt so let's see near mint in box uh, these are out of stock at one at 229 web retail let's do 180 like it is 205 with an apostle piage the emerson appalachian next up another emerson Ooh. they don't make these very often and when they do they're not cheap and i want you to look at the shimmery emerson g10 very little use on this handle <clears throat> Got a cross swords polished clip, a disc and a wave, and the scimitar blade in 154 cm. Four inches of blade, five and five eighths inches of handle. Titanium liner lock about right in the middle of the blade tang. Just a little Emerson stick and a blade that's very close to perfect centering, but I think it favors the top slightly. Yeah. Near mint, no box, some clip scratches, okay? Very little to zero edge wear. Uh, when you can buy these, they're 326 bucks web retail, but you can't buy them. Let's try 275 on this one, 300 with an Apostle P edge. That is the Hatton from Emerson. And that brings us to the last item in tonight's sale. It's from Rayot. And it's an XO-M in burlap micarta. I think this is kind of a cool knife. So <clears throat> this is an XO with a secondary lock, which is right here. So handle will not open unless you pull that back. And then it opens, close it and lock it up. And then it can't unlock. Pretty cool gravity knife. Three and an eighth inches of CPM 3V is your blade. Acid stone washed bevel and swedge, horizontal satin flats, titanium handle, right hand tip down but looks like tip up clip that is deep carry. Pull back on the button. There, how about that? Uh, let's see, the blade's three and eight, the handle's four and a half. We'll call this near mint in box. They're out of stock at 285 web retail. But you can buy this one for $220, like it is $245 with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Rea XOM. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another weekly knife sale on the Apostle P channel. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. From God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp. Have at her, boys.